We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you on another day that God has given us by His grace and by His special and His wonderful grace, we will keep on going. We serve a good God. We serve a gracious God. We serve a God who loves us. He loves us with an everlasting love and that love is not going away. I tell you, my dear friend, in whatever season, in whatever time you might be going through, you can call on God and He is willing to help you. You can call on him and he will deliver you. Call unto the Lord in times of trouble and he will save you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. And even today, as you call on the name of God, God will help you. We're going to be praying special prayers of healing and deliverance. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to help you. God is going to heal you. God is going to bring the change that is needed. And every good and perfect gift comes from God. And healing and deliverance is a good and perfect gift. It is a good gift. And God wants to set you free. Jesus said, it is for freedom that I have set you free. So receive that freedom, my dear friend. Walk in it and enjoy what Jesus has given you. Now, as we begin, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. I invite you right now to say this prayer out loud with me. And as you say it, just mean it with all of your heart. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and bless me. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, to live a life that gives Jesus glory. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, as we begin to pray, I just want to lay a quick foundation, and that is that you must believe that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And as you seek God, God will deliver you. God will set you free. God will set you on high. God will help you to correct those areas in your life that is going the wrong way. He will help you, and He will deliver you. Believe and trust in Him, and you shall see His wonder-working power. Believe God for your deliverance, and understand and know God wants to deliver you. Believe Him for your healing, and understand and know God wants to heal you, and God will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by thanking and praising God. And as we discern His presence, then I'll begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And I trust, I know, I believe, God will do miracles, signs, and wonders. The Bible says, enter His gates with thanksgiving and enter His courts with praise. So let us do just that. Father, thank you for another day that you've given us. It is a wonderful day. It is a precious day to live for you. And we will do just that. We thank you for another opportunity to walk in our purpose and in our destiny, another opportunity to live with our family and our friends, another opportunity to receive from you. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who gave his life for us without any reservation, motivated by love, the love that he had for all those who were created through him. We understand and know what the Word says. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And through Him, all things were made. We understand and know that the Word became flesh and manifest among us, and He saved us. He paid the price on the cross. We thank you for your Word that makes it so clear to us that we can understand and know the price that was paid for our freedom. And because of that, we can be set free. We thank you, Father. Thank you for our family, our friends, the people around us. Thank you for the opportunities that you give us. Thank you for wisdom, counsel, and insight from your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us day to day, guiding us and leading us, showing us this is the way, walk in it. 
we receive your blessing. We receive your favor. We receive your divine deliverance. And we know that you have good and pleasant plans for us. Plans to give us a future and a hope. My dear friend who's watching this video will never be the same again because you will change my dear friend's life. You will bless my dear friend and take my dear friend up. Father, even today I thank you that distance and time is not a barrier for you. And wherever my dear friend will watch this video and whenever my dear friend will watch this video, your presence and your grace and your power will touch my dear friend and bring the deliverance that is needed. I thank you for this. I thank you for your blessings that you give us on a daily basis. I thank you for even the small things that you give us, the things that we sometimes overlook. And I thank you that your love and your grace is with us and you will never leave us helpless. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and we should always follow protocol. We should follow the principles contained in the word. As we go into a time of prayer, begin with thanking and praising God. And as you discern his presence, begin to pray. Now, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. Connect in faith, believe and receive. Understand and know, as I've said earlier, God wants to set you free. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you. And he will. Now in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. By your grace and your mercy, set my dear friend free from every form of bondage, from every form of prison, spiritual prison, from every form of attack that the enemy is currently bringing or planning to bring against my dear friend. Set my dear friend free from any attack that is taking place at night when my dear friend tries to sleep, from any attack on my dear friend's health, from any attack in my dear friend's progress, from any attack in my dear friend's relationships, from any attack in my dear friend's emotions. Set my dear friend free. Bring total and complete deliverance even today. Father, we choose to trust in you. I ask you, bring mighty healing. Release the healing power that is available in Christ. Even as we pray today, both myself and my dear friend, bring healing that is needed in the place that is needed. And wherever there is a root cause for any sickness or any bondage, reveal that root cause to my dear friend. And help my dear friend who is watching this video to deal with the root cause so they can be free, completely free. And this deliverance can be permanent. I ask you in the name of Jesus, release your power and give my dear friend who is watching this video a fresh anointing, new strength, strength to break through, strength to break free, strength to press on and to receive from you. Bless my dear friend mightily, mightily, mightily. If my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, for signs or wonders, do a miracle, do signs, do wonders. If my dear friend is trusting you for divine intervention in any situation, whatever that situation is, as you see fit, I ask you, Father, intervene divinely and bring total and complete deliverance, bring healing, bring a change that is needed for the better. I pray for my dear friend that you will give progress in the area of the career, in the area of business, in the area of the purpose and destiny, in the area of the ministry or community help, whatever it might be. Give my dear friend grace to make progress, grace to push on. And if my dear friend is in a position of leadership, give my dear friend wisdom and counsel 
on how to be a good leader and how to make a massive impact. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. It is done. My dear friend, God is good. God is gracious. And He is always just a prayer away. You can call on God and you can know that God will deliver you. God will see you through. God will set you free and He will deliver you. And He will bring mighty deliverance and you can trust Him. In saying that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you. God keep you. God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until next time, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.